And I don't mind finishing sometimes. Don't drink and drive, girl. No, but call me right, my mind. This is Rob White. We're here at Buster Box in Shoreditch. I'm joined by the co-founder herself of Buster Box, Alex. Yeah, yep, Alex. Yep. She's so she's so lovely. She's fun, so fun sized. So I know. I got to ask you though about um. I got to ask you about the nose rings. Does that hurt? <laughs> okay, the one on the side hurt, I mean, and I, I cried. It's two. This one, I was like, yeah, it's cool, pinching. It was fine, but this one, I was like, <laughs> going a little bit off topic there. But I had to ask. I was like. Trying to, cool. trying to not to stare, do you know what I mean? Because I'm more of a, like, just an earring just, guy. Just one, yeah. Just boom. That's yeah, like that's, that's not the gay ear, is it? Like, <laughs> just, just, uh, just 12. What are the rest? They've got two on the... I have six on my ear, this right. side. Two on that side. Oh, Belly, two in my nose. And, yeah. How many is that? That's like... <laughs> that's some of them. Anyway, so we're going to go back to music. <laughs> How did you even end up on this stage, man? You know what? Um, big enough ice cream family, because um, they were actually the first people to premiere my song that's doing quite well right now, a song called No Chat. Um, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's running the place right now. It's a big chat, and they, they press play on it first. And then, you know, they've just been supporting me in any way they can, man. So it's only right. How did you come up with the idea, and how long has this been running for? Um, Buster Box has been, we're on our second year now, so we do it every summer. We run it from about, well, when it gets hot, trying to run it from. Never. Ne what, once once a week in 12, 12 uh, in the whole 12 months? Basically, it's every Sunday, 1 to 4 p.m. Um, at Box Park. Yeah, it's our second year, so it's been running for two year, about two years now. Right, they got me on this show, and um, this is my first acoustic performance ever. Um, so, yeah, bro, interesting stuff today, man. Today is a big eye-opener for me. Um, I'm always that kind of person. I like to analyse a lot of things, and there's always room for improvement. So I'm like, okay, this worked, that didn't work. So, yeah, man, I want to start doing this acoustic thing a bit more now as well, man. I love it. I think it reaches out to a whole new, different audience. So shout-outs to Love Rail, Omar, Mikel Pierre, Preds, Colder. There's a load of others, you know what I'm saying? If you're here, you know. Um, <laughs> But yeah, they're just like our pick of who we think is next to blow. Like some of them are at that level where they're already getting played on like all the massive stations. So we're just here to push them even further. To, like. And you guys obviously do some work on uh, Bang Radio, do a show on Bang Radio? Yeah, and I mean, even on Bang, like we, we pretty much are one of the shows that really, really steps up to represent for UK music. A lot of people say the UK needs to get put on more, but they don't actually do something about it. And we do a lot, like we actively do a lot. We've supported premieres, we've done remixes of original tracks, we have free scoops, which every single week on the show, free scoops. Oh, I've heard free scoops, I've heard free yeah, scoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, free scoops, that's where we give unsigned artists the chance to get played on Bang Radio, and we, prem we, premiere, we premiere tracks every single week. So, you know, free scoops is us saying, cool, here's the platform, show us what you got. Yeah. So, um, Tell us about the event and how you got, how you decided to do an event like this and how it all works. Because we spoke to some of the artists. They've been saying it's a great platform for them to come and exhibit their talent, and meet some great people, meet some great performers. The vibe's always really good. I mean, my first thought is that do you guys have a lot of like legal stuff to deal with, like doing live music? Um, to be honest, it's not really that bad. It's because there's like residential areas and stuff like that around yeah. here. Um, all we have to deal with is like the noise kind of, um, so we don't disturb like the other, the other shops in Box Park as well. We have to you know kind of keep the noise to a certain level we've got a limiter on the um, mixer okay. so if it gets too loud the noise will cut out so that's the o that's the only real legal thing we have to deal with everything else is kind of cool so Rob White here at Buster Box joined by a talented hold on let me just bust a quick <laughs> there we go we just be vibes in here right now Buster Box I'm here with Omar I just come off the stage how was it how was the performance man um, yeah, it's my first time here, man. So yeah. I've loved it. Loved yeah. it, loved it, loved it, loved it. The crowd were nice, the people were nice. Yeah. Yo, it was crazy. How are the nerves? Nerves, um, okay? I don't really get nervous as much before, but yeah. it was kind of like, all right, let me get there. Let's get the first note out and then see how we do. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, like I said, man, the people were there. Yeah. Like I said, my first time here, so to see people inside and then people outside stopping and that like yeah. I was like oh this is hard and what have you got planned for yourself I know it's been a hot minute since we actually sat down and caught up but what have you been working on I know obviously I just I've seen you more performances now is this something that's in the pipeline more performances more music bro it's been crazy like I said big enough everyone that's watching this right now if you haven't checked out my song no chat make sure you go check that out right now the videos on YouTube right now so I link up TV um, it's doing it's, it's doing well man it's crazy um it's been playlisted on a few radio stations 
Um, and that's the track that I'm just campaigning on right now. I've got something called No Chat Campaign. So if you hashtag No Chat Campaign, loads of things will come up. Okay. And what are your views at the moment? We've got a lot of UK artists and US rappers kind of interlinking at the moment. There's a lot of stuff happening for people like Skepta, people like Stormzy. Where's your opinion on that? And how do you think that benefits you as an artist? Um, I mean, in general, if you've got somebody from the UK that's putting somebody on the map, you've got to look at them, not in a sense to copy them, but to see how much dedication, effort and the passion you see that they're putting in. Um, Americans don't need to collab with UK artists, it's just the honest truth. Yeah. But from time they are, we're doing something right. And it's only this right. is one of them just now. There you in go. In the background, we just got this. So there you go. We have to keep on pushing it, yo. Even from whether you're signed or not, I'm not signed. But I'm still out trying to do what I've got to do. I want to be part of them. I want to be, I want to do the crossover. I want to put, uh, I want to bring a door that allows many more artists to come. I mean, you, you, you go to all the shows and you see different artists that are really good. But just little tweaks here and there that they're not doing. I think once we clock on to what we need to be doing, boom. In regards to where I want to be, yeah. there's no like set place. It's just more like as long as I can help someone or feel like someone's benefited from what they've heard from me and they feel like they're not alone and all of that, then that's it for me. Yeah. I'm getting real emotional here. <laughs> don't cry. Don't cry. Tear. No, so... Here. So you're, um, where can we find you then is the most important thing. How can we support you? Have you got stuff on Bandcamp, SoundCloud, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook? Everything. Did I miss any of them? Nope. And it's LinkedIn. All yep. You're there. I'm all there. So it's all the same. And it's all name. the same. It's just Indiana I feel. So, I mean, start typing in the Indiana.if and everything will come up. At Preds UK. So that's P-R-E-D-Z UK on all social networks, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I'm not on Snapchat. I don't know, but I might get on that. But it's just a hype, blood. Like, every minute, people are just eating food. Everything. <laughs> Omar T K I F. So that's Omar T K I F. Um, all one word. Uh, SoundCloud, Insta, Snapchat. Um, Facebook. Does anyone use Facebook anymore? Is it all it, like? Because I'm on Snapchat now. Page on. You got a fan page yeah, there, but yeah, I, you see me. I don't. I don't think I have fans yet. I think I just got. Yeah, like, yeah. Listeners of mine. I do. I have many, many fans. No. <laughs> You're a lucky guy, did you get me? <laughs> you I'm got six my way. Um, yeah, that's our Twitter. So if artists want to get in touch with us, they can email me personally, which is alex at thegreywolfpack.com. I will respond to everyone, or I try to respond to everyone. Um, our other Twitter, um, our other email is info at thegreywolfpack.com. So that one is flooded. So the reply time is quite slow, but if you email me personally, I'll get back to you within like a week. All over Twitter is at Creamworks, at Ice Cream Parties. You've probably been to one of our events. Shout outs to you if you have. At DJ Simo. At Magnificent32. That's Magnificent, magnificent, but just change the G with a C and add a number 32. Okay, thank you very much, guys. I'm Rob White here and I'm reporting from Bus the Box. And I've been joined by these two gentlemen here from the Cream Parties. And they're going to get back on there. You guys, probably your time breaks up, man. You've got to get someone back on the stage, man. That's it. You know it. We're out.